Hello there everyone. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. NordVPN provides a virtual private network that help keeps your information online private. And if you're someone like me and you use public Wi-Fi from time to time, your personal information is at risk for getting hacked or stolen. And if you use NordVPN, you can help keep your information and your personal information safe from online threats. Now, a couple other features about NordVPN is that NordVPN doesn't log any of your information, keeping your private information private the way it's supposed to be. As well, NordVPN provides some of the most amazing service at the fastest speeds. Watch me log on to one of the NordVPN servers here and boom, it was literally that fast. And three, NordVPN is trusted by users and absolutely approved by security professionals. And if you are a huge movie buff and television show binger like I am, you can go on NordVPN and switch to a different region and on your favorite movie or television apps, find a whole new category of films and television shows to enjoy. So, what are you waiting for? There's a link right here with my special code here and in my description and you can get a two-year plan plus an additional month with a huge discount. Thank you so much, NordVPN. Keep yourself safe and keep your online information safer. Have a great rest of your night, everyone. Cheers. Okay, it looks like we have a patient coming in. And the information on their paperwork... Bizarre. It does look like this patient has everything wrong with them. We'll see about that. I'm not too sure I believe that. Looks like the nurse had no vital signs reported. Yeah, we're going to see that for themselves. Let's see if we can send them in. Maybe that's just a faulty part on the internet. Okay. And... Wow! Hello there! Hi! <laughs> yeah, apologies. I was just looking at you. Welcome to Dream City Clinic. <laughs> Truly, it is a pleasure to meet you. I know I'm not your primary physician. I am Dr. Brain. I'm the head neurologist here at the clinic. Yeah! Okay. And if you want to, just get all cozy and take a seat right at the uh, doctor's bed. That's just right in front of me, okay? Yeah, so pleasure to meet you. And uh, today we're going to be performing something called a cranial nerve exam. And what that is, is it's just going to examine all parts of your brain function and to make sure that your health is a-okay. Okay? And on your report here, I did see that it says that everything is wrong with you. Um, is that correct? Because I'm looking at your old paperwork here in a little medical record. And it looks like you only started feeling this about a week ago. Okay, about a week ago. And looking at your reports here, it does say that everything is wrong. Do you really feel that way or is this something that we could talk about? Okay, yeah. Well, I do see that we're starting off with an anomaly here. You do seem to have three eyes. Yeah, just right in a row. Is that normal? Have you always had that? I'm just gonna get a little bit closer and take a look. Well, they're beautiful, number one. We should talk about that. But have you always had three eyes? Yeah, just one consecutively next to the other one. Wow, well, they're beautiful. I bet you're amazing at reading. I bet you have a lot of amazing skills, but today we're just gonna check on your health, okay? And we're gonna look at that eye. That extra eye. It's right in the center, okay? Very good here. So, first things first, I do have to get your information to make sure that you cognitively know who you are and where you're at, okay? So, what's your name? Is that your nickname? Because that's not the name that's written here. Okay, and how do you spell your actual name? Uh, the letters are a little bit off. Okay, maybe some things are a little bit wrong, that's okay. What's your last name? Is that also a nickname? Okay, so that's also not your last name. And can you give me the address that you currently live at? No, you don't live in Downton Abbey. That's an imaginary place. And no, you also don't live in Sesame Street. Okay, well, we're gonna have to check that first. Um, were you recently in some sort of collision or perhaps had some injury to your head? You did. What were you doing? Oh, very classic. I've done that myself a time or two. Actually, a lot that I don't care to admit. So you were watching television, fell asleep, and rolled over and fell on the floor? 
very common, happens all the time. Thank you so much for letting me know about that. Okay, so I'm um, gonna ask you here, what's the first thing that you feel is like a bit off of you, okay? Okay, everything. Okay, so we're gonna perform this cranial nerve exam and we're going to measure and calculate and see what is going on with you with all 12 of your cranial nerves. And you see that cognitively you might be just a bit distant from where we would want you to be. And this is already just a sign that um, we might need to keep you in for a couple of days just to check up on you, is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna put my paperwork on my keyboard, push those away. I'm gonna get some gloves on, okay? And we're gonna first start with your eyes, especially that beautiful third one that I see right there. Now, have you always had three eyes? Were you born like that? Beautiful, they all seem to be such a beautiful color of crimson. So, I'm just gonna check your eyes first, all three of them. And I'm first just gonna get my light here. And can you just look right here? Yeah, wow, all three of your eyes focusing at once, so magnificent looking. Okay, look to the center. Wow, okay, look over here. Okay, so I'm seeing some cognitive dissonance with your eyes. One of them's looking over here, and one of them's looking over here, okay? So let's try one more time. Can you focus on the light that's right in front of you? Good. Let's look all the way over here to the left. No, don't look to the right, look to the left. Okay, so maybe that's just a little bit flipped with the vision. Can you look over here, all the way over here to the right? Okay, and it looks like you're looking over to the left. Okay, so typically you do all three of your eyes function at one simple area, or does each of your eye focus in different locations? They focus in one area? Okay. Okay, look up for me. No, 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 don't look down, look up. That's you looking up. Okay, can you look down for me? And that's you looking down, okay. So does it breath that your eyes are flipped all around, okay? And can you close um, all of your eyes? All three of them, can you close them? Okay, can you open them? Okay, I'm gonna just put a little bit of pressure on your eyes, okay? All three of them, please close your eyes. And could you let me know if that feels uncomfortable at all or if you're feeling okay? That feels a little bit uncomfortable. That's A-OK, -okay. I'm gonna release. And can you open your eyes now? Okay, I'm gonna ask you to do something for me. Can you just close your eyes, all three of them, and open your eyes? I'm gonna do something that is called the blink test and it's to test to see if your eyes can follow with what I'm saying, okay? So if I ask you to close your eyes, please close your eyes. If I ask you to open your eyes, please open your eyes. Thank you. So, open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Okay, now let's do it with the other portion. Only one of your eyes function that time, so this is the one right over here. Okay, now ready? Let's try it again. So, open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Okay, so your eyes are partially opening and closing. And this eye over here, not exactly the middle or the one to the right. But the left eye was just not functioning properly. I'm going to take just a quick closer look into your eyes if that's okay with you. Yeah, I've never seen this before. I mean, I've never seen three eyes. But I've also never seen your eye, like, eyes function so non-consecutively, if that makes any sense. Trust me, you're fine. I'm just gonna take a quick look with my glasses here, okay? Can you all look, all of your eyes, can you look over here to this light? Okay, and can you look over here to this light right over here? Wow, that is something else. So your corneas of your eyes are just reacting in a way I've never seen before. Okay, can you look over to this light again over here, to the right? Okay, can you look over to the, the light on the left? Oh yeah, your eyes are just functioning at like this different wave I've never seen before. Um, that definitely is a bit different. I'm gonna ask you just a couple of quick questions here, okay? Now, when you look at me, do you see that I am focused? Like I'm something in focus and things behind me are a bit blurry in the background? Or are you seeing that everything is at the exact same focus? There's no blur behind me. You don't, you don't see anything like that. You're not focusing. Yeah, because your eyes aren't focusing right now. Okay. No, no, I'm not worried. Don't worry. We're fine. Um, I'm just going to get your vitals first. Okay? Just going to get your vitals. Let's get your temperature. I've never seen this before, but 
your body is reading at zero degrees centigrade and that is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Are you just really cold right now? That's normal? Let's try this again. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna manually get your temperature if that's okay with you. Yeah, I've just never seen that before as a result. Okay, so I'm just gonna get your temperature really quick and put my hand on your forehead. Is that okay? Good. Okay, so... That's fine, don't worry, I'm not worried at all. I'm just confused. I'm gonna write that down. But just, maybe there's something here that's just not working. When I felt your actual temperature, you felt a little bit cooler than usual. Are you someone who happens to have any metal appliances um, inside of them that could be causing my mechanics, my mechanical devices to not work? No, okay. Now we're, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna get your heart rate here, okay? We can get your heart rate here. So I'm gonna put this right on your chest. I apologize if it's a bit cold, but I'm gonna ask you to breathe in and breathe out, okay? So put that right there, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's try that on the other side. Are you a bit um, nervous or anxious? No? Okay. Let's try that on the other side, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. Okay. I'm gonna test your back. Let's just feel your breathing, okay? So breathe in and breathe out. never heard a heart rate that was that necessarily fast before. I've never heard lungs sound like that before. But, okay, and we're just gonna move on. No worries here, no worries here. And I'm gonna test your pulse and oxygen level. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm put this on your finger here, okay? And I'm just gonna get your pulse level and your oxygen level. And it's just going to take a couple seconds, okay? So give me your hand. Perfect. I do notice that you have very lovely fingernails. Are those natural? They are. Wow, they're gorgeous. And I'm just going to put this right on your finger, okay? So give me your hand and we're going to count from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the machine didn't read. I'm going to try one more time, okay? Put this on your finger. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and your beats per minute for your heart was at 303, and your oxygen level was at 107. You know, um, I'm thinking that sometimes we'll just have like a fluctuation with how our equipment works. I've just never heard that before. What I'm gonna do first is there's something here. It's called an olfactory sensory nerve test. I'm gonna test your nose and I'm gonna test your taste, okay? And this is a really important part of your cranial nerve functions because cognitively it's really good to see a correlation between here, here, and your brain, okay? Okay. We're gonna test your brain functions after that with a couple of general questions asking you about shapes, memorizing things, etc. I'm gonna do just a smell test here, and this is how this is gonna work. There are no correct answers, but what we're looking for is if I put a smell in front of you, you let me know what you think the smell could be, okay? So if I put something in front of you that smells like flowers, you say, that smells like flowers, or just try to the best of your ability. If I put something up to you that smells like fruit, you say that smells like fruit, got it? Good. So. I'm gonna start off with our first one here. I won't show you what it is, but I will tell you afterwards, after each and every single scent, if it's correct. Okay, so I'm gonna test the first one here. I'm gonna put this up to your nose, okay? And I'm gonna ask you to smell that. What does that smell like? Nothing. 
Let me smell that. No, that definitely has a smell. Let's try that again. What does that smell like? Nothing. Okay, well, this one is tea tree, and it has a very earthly scent. Maybe not too strong. Let's try another one just for you, okay? So, we're gonna try one that's a bit more common, okay? Okay, this one is quite strong. So, I'm gonna just put that next to your nose and let me know what that smells like, okay? Good. And any ideas? You're saying that smells like coffee? Let's try that again. Good, and take a deep breath in. And what does that smell like? Coffee is your final verdict. Okay, well this one is lavender, so that's like more floral, okay. Yeah. Have you have you always been someone who's enjoyed food? You have? Have you noticed recently that food hasn't tasted the same? Has different tastes? Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna- I think that's what I'm saying too, okay. So you're noticing a trend here, not to worry, not to worry. Okay, let's try this next one. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. Okay, and what does that smell like? laundry detergent. Okay, this one's mint. This one is a very strong peppermint. And this smells like laundry detergent. We're gonna try one more here. Just out of, you know, curiosity. So, got our last one here. And this one is one of the easiest to smell. People typically don't get this one wrong, okay? So, what does this one smell like to you? Nothing. Let's try again. Now just breathe in and breathe out. And what does this one smell like? Okay, no, so this one is, does not smell like a gym. This one smells like orange. So I do know that your scents are off, which means that this next test might be um, something that we actually can get a little more information from. So I have a couple of test vials here. And it's either going to be sweet, sour, or spicy. I'm going to test two of them on you today, okay? And want you to let me know if what you're tasting is sweet, sour, or spicy, okay? So, we're going to go with the first one here. And we do know what this one is. Perfect. I'm just going to put two drops on your tongue to say, ah, uh, here we go. One and two. And could you do this for me? Very good. And just taste it on your tongue. Just go... What is that? Sweet, sour, or spicy? Spicy. No, 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 no. That's spicy. Okay, this one is actually very sweet. Let's try the next one. Okay, this is the next one. Now just open your mouth. Very good. Let's try this again. One, two. Tell me, is that sweet, sour, or spicy? spicy again. This one is sour. Okay, well, let's try the last one. So, this one should have a very distinct flavor. Okay. I'm gonna put just one drop of this one on your tongue. Let's try it. And now taste. And what is that sweet, sour, spicy? Okay. So, that last one was spicy, and you said you had no effect on it. So I'm just gonna write that down here. Trust me, I'm not nervous. I'm just trying my best to understand some of the functions here that are just not calculating correct, okay? You could just be having yourself an off day. And there's actually something going around where your sense of taste and smell can be functioned and just maneuvered a bit differently than usual, okay? And this can affect your taste, your sense of smell, and sometimes just a little bit of your brain functions, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna write that down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to be testing your brain functions, okay? So I have something here, it is called a sharp or soft test. I have a tool here. We have one side that is a bit sharp, and we have the other side that is a bit soft, okay? I'm gonna ask you to close all three of your beautiful eyes. Very good. I do bet that you are so good at reading that I'm gonna put a little part in your face and you let me know if that's soft or sharp, 
Got it? Good. So, close all of your eyes. Good. I'm going to begin. So, I'm going to just do that right there on your face. Was that soft or sharp? Couldn't tell. Okay. What about right there? Soft. right there. Soft. What about right there? Soft. Good. What about right there? No feeling of anything applied. Okay. What about right here? No feeling of anything applied. What about right here? No feeling at all. What about right here? Soft. And what about right here on your chin? Soft. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to open your eyes. Open your eyes. Very good. So could you let me know where exactly when you fell? Where where in which part of your head experienced just a bit more of the pressure where you got hurt? Okay, over here. So I'm gonna take a light. I'm going to take just a little brush here. I'm gonna look right your scalp, okay? So, don't mind me. I'm just gonna put this right to your scalp. Is that okay with you? Good. Okay, good. Take a look. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I am noticing is that we might need to just keep you in for a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna start treating that right away because it does look like it hurts pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Then we're, we're gonna make you feel just like you again, okay? Gonna make sure that you enjoy all the qualities of food and relaxing and enjoying being you again, okay? Yeah. No, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked at all. It's just sometimes, um, I don't know how we miss that because that is such a significant bump. Truly, truly, yeah. So, what I'm going to do next is we're going to do something that is known as a neurological exam. And I'm just going to start testing the sensitivity of your muscular functions on your face and arms, okay? Good, 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 good. So, first I'm just going to put a bit of pressure next your orbitals next to a third eye right there, okay? Let me know if you feel that, okay? Do you feel that? You do. Okay, and what about right here? Do you feel that? Good, and what about right here? Do you feel that? Good. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you. Now right here, do you feel that? No. What about right on the nose? Do you feel that? No. Okay, let's test your arms, okay? So I'm gonna ask you just to keep your hands out like this. I'm gonna test the function right here between your hands. Okay, give me that. Did you feel that? You did. And your hand didn't flinch. Okay, let's try the other side right here. And did your hand, did you feel that? Your hand didn't flinch again. Okay, let's try your knees, okay? Your leg didn't move. Okay, let's try the other one. No movement there either. I'm just trying to think right now what that could possibly be because I've never seen that happen before. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a couple of eye tests to you. Now I'm going to ask you something, okay? If this bothers you at all, let me know and we will try a different eye exam, okay? Got that? Good. So I'm going to do a game where I'm going to lift my hands here and I'm going to show you some numbers that I make with my fingers and you let me know um, what, how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? Very simple brain, brain exam, okay? Good. So I've got my hands up here, okay? And... How many fingers am I holding up? Good. Four? Mm-mm. Okay. Let's try that again. How many fingers am I holding up? Ten. Okay, you may be seeing double vision. Okay, and how many fingers am I holding up? Okay, fourteen. And how many fingers am I holding up? Three. How many fingers am I holding up now? Okay. Really weird. Okay. Now let me know which hand is closer to you. The one is the hand on my left or the hand on my right, okay? Okay, no idea. How about now? No idea. No idea. Opposite hand? Okay, I'm just gonna test your flinching function, okay? I'm gonna put my hand really close to you very quickly. You're not flinching at all. Okay, let's try that again. No flinching function at all. Bizarre glasses on for this to make sure that I'm seeing this correctly. 
Okay, so I'm gonna test your peripheral function and your peripheral vision, okay? And I'm gonna put my hands here. I'm gonna wiggle my hands out of your peripheral vision. You let me know when you are unable to see my hands anymore, okay? Got it? Good. Well, let's try it now, okay? Now. Now. Okay. What about now? Okay. And now. Now. And now. So it looks like your peripheral vision is quite small. You're sitting about a meter in front of me. And your peripheral vision is quite small of a distance. I'm going to ask you really quickly to do something called follow the light, okay? I'm going to ask you just to follow the light for me, okay? Okay, so you're not even being able to do that. And this is kind of... Okay, I'm going to ask you to keep your head and your chin still when following the light. I'll hold it to make sure that you're not moving, okay? And just follow the light. Good. Okay, so your eyes again are not functioning properly, especially that third eye. Quite beautiful still. Um, I've just never seen that before. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test your ears, okay? I'm just going to test your hearing, okay? And um, I'm just going to ask you what you're hearing and to repeat it back to me, okay? So first I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and you let me know if the sound is coming from your left side or your right side. I'm going to be whispering into your ear and you repeat the word back to me, okay? Okay, so close your eyes. Good. Happy. Happy. And what side did that come from? The opposite direction. So your, your hearing is inverted. And what was the word? No, it wasn't pineapple. Okay, let's try this again. Sunshine. Sunshine. And what did you hear? Dragon fruit. No. Again, inverted side as well. Okay. Lemonade. 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 And what was the word? Orange juice. No, but quite close. And what side did you hear that from? Opposite side again, okay. Snowfall. 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 And what was that word? Mountaintop. Okay, so I think you're getting a word and it's coming back to you as in a different form because all the words you said back to me were just a different category of the same thing. So I'm just going to quickly ask you a couple of questions, okay? We're just going to test a bit of your brain function, okay? We're almost done here. No worries. I won't keep you in here forever, okay? So got a couple of brain cards here and I'm going to show you something here and I want you to let me know what you see, okay? So what is this object that's in front of you? What is that? What's the word you use to describe this? A triangle? Okay, well that's either a square or a cube. Let's try again. Okay, so I'm going to show this to you and I'm going to just show you this really carefully. What would be the word you'd use to describe this shape? What is this? Okay, an equilateral. I mean, same category. This is a cylinder. Okay, so let's try this here. I'm going to show you this shape. Okay, and what would you describe this shape as? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight corners. So what is the shape? A square. This is a octagon. Okay. And let's try this one. So, what is this one right here? It has four corners. A hexagon. Okay, so this one's a square. Okay, so what I'm noticing is that just you're just a little bit showing some signs that we're just going to keep you in for a little bit longer, okay? I'm just going to write that down on my computer here. I've just never seen something like that before or that's ever been the case. And it just looks like we're going to take care of just that little bump on your head, okay? And we're going to just keep asking you a couple questions as we see your health progress. Um, I'm going to call the nurse and take you as soon as possible right away to get that bump on your head. Just check out really carefully. Don't worry. I am not worried at all. This is not the first time I've seen this. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, I was going to get you checked out, okay? So I'll have the nurse come in and they're going to just get you all cozy. And we're going to take care of that bump on your head and the other parts that we have to also fix. 
Yeah, yeah, no worries. We're totally not worried about this at all. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, so, I'm gonna take care of you now. Thank you so much for coming up out of the clinic, and we'll see you right in the exam room in about T-minus 30 seconds. Yay!